It's Manny and Me Day. It's Manny and Me Day. It's a gorgeous 70 degrees here today. Fall is here. It's the first day of fall. Y'all, probably not when I post this, but the day I got this. And it is so beautiful in Southern Illinois. Um, this is the going to be the first week, or well, the only week of the year that we have perfect weather. One week a year, that's what we get. Otherwise, it's 110 or it's 12. All right, let's check out today's Mania and Me box. I'm trying to push away the negative energy of trying to file FAFSA again. If any of you have filed the FAFSA, you know the struggle. It's real. All right, as we open up the box. Um, this is the box, I don't know. I, I buy a box and then they give me a box and I give one away. Um, I don't know which is which and it really doesn't matter because when I get the other box I will post a video with this month's giveaways that you can enter. Alright, here is the first card and it gives you a little hint of what is to come. Cute! Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Please don't sing Gylene because your voice is terrible. And there is a sample Manny. Oh, how adorable. Um, showing, you know, what they did and a little instructions on how they got that look. Really cute. And then the, the card that tells us everything that's in the box. Um, oh, did they kind of, no, I guess not, but okay. So we know that it is, uh, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, he got stuck in the Manny Me box. Uh, this month's collection is stuffed with fluff and flowing with golden honey. The hundred acre forest. All right. Honey pot is um, P138 and it's a clear polished topper with copper and gold flakies. I mean, if that it's gorgeous by the look of that. And Winnie is B448, a, a light yellow goldenrod, no, I must be dyslexic, a light goldenrod yellow stamping polish. Um, what's all the buzz? Our latest Manny and Me Gift lets you use your imagination with interchangeable nail art brush set. Ooh, swap between two brush heads for a cleanup, detailing, and much more. I do have a discount code, Kylene325, and I think there's a link down below to click to get that doesn't count for the Manny and Me box uh, when you subscribe, but I do have another one down there of $5 off that you get the first time you subscribe. I don't think that it counts for like if it if you've subscribed before and canceled it and then go back. I don't know. You can try it and see. Try them both. I don't know. Ow. I really should not use this thing. So let's get the polishes out of here. Uh, there's no blood. I, I didn't cut myself. All right, there is the topper. Ooh, that is beautiful. Um, what I have on my nails right now is the Maniology Grassy Patch, and it, it has copper shimmers in it too. So if I put that over this, it's really, really gonna pop. And then there's the stamping polish, Winnie B448, and I'll swatch that. And we have the two plates, and I think I am going to swatch all of these, both these plates. Um, I'm probably not going to get like into detail. I'm just going to use my little Maniology stamping pad and just stamp them all. Just show you putting them down so you can see all of them, the images. But there they are close up. Let me zoom in so we don't we can get out of the glare. 
and then I'll give you a close-up of them stamped. I think that's a little better. So cute. Uh, and I know, let's go to normal size here. I know when you subscribe to begin with, the first time you subscribe, you get a free stamper also. That doesn't come every month. That only comes when you first subscribe. Okay, that feels so much more secure. The other one I had, it was really cheaply made and it wasn't glued in and like it was really loose and wobbly to begin with. This one doesn't even spin. And it has maniology on it. So cute. And it does come with a cap. So that is wonderful. Wonderful. And then you can unscrew this one. and put this one in. So you have um, a detail brush and a cleanup brush. And it won't roll around. So I do really like this thing because of that. The other one I had just had so many really like cheap I don't know they were not very well made and also when you screwed the tip in the other one it was still really wiggly and loose I don't know what was up with that but it was just really uh, a piece of junk and look that one stands up all right let's move on and swatch this um, we're gonna go ahead and swatch all of these um, I don't know what color right now probably some brown some brown out. Alright, so I know I got a lot of new people, so um, let's just touch up on the basics. Some um, you do have to remove the plastic um, blue plastic from the plate. Just be careful that you're not bending up your plate. I'm an expert and have done this so many times. Uh, just keep your plate kind of flat and peel that off. And then I recommend going ahead and taking, oh, well, that's a dirty cotton ball. Um, a cotton ball and cleaning off the plates really well. Because sometimes that sticky film stays on there and it makes it a little difficult to stamp. All right, I grabbed, this one looked like LOL to me, and I don't think that this one is available anymore. I'm not sure, but it is similar to LOL. Very, very similar. All right, let's go ahead and stamp an image on here and see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and do this little honey dip. Um, did I call that a honey dip? <laughs> A honeycomb. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look quite as opaque. I don't know. Looks up pretty good. Yeah, it's not real opaque. Um. For right now, I'm giving that a B. I mean, it's definitely not as opaque as LOL is. Side by side, they are pretty close. Winnie is is lighter. Um, LOL is a little more opaque, and neither one of them show up that great over white. But LOL definitely shows up better over dark. So yeah, that is staying a B. I am going to paint 
Winnie on a swatch stick so we can stamp it and see what we think. And it is a very pretty color and is pretty much opaque over a, an opaque pop stick. But I would definitely want two coats on my nails. But it's a very pretty yellow. Still gives you a B for stamping. Okay, I'm gonna use um, Maniology's Coco. Love this brown, it's an awesome brown to stamp with. And my Moochie Stamper, Giant Stamper, Giant Squishy Stamper. I only use this to swatch with. I do not know where you can get it anymore. I don't know if um, GP Stamping has it anymore. You have to private message them on Facebook to get it, GP Stamping. I'll put that link down below. Maniology, we're begging you. Okay, we're begging you. We want another giant, smooshy stamper like this. If you could make that happen, we would all appreciate it and you would sell a billion of them. But you have to use my code, Cosmic 225. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and um, do this. If you're new to stamping, I'll do the first one and tell you what I'm doing. Um, I really don't like Maniology scrapers. That's just a per personal preference. I like something a little stiffer, but not really hard. And Clear Jelly Stamper, love their scrapers. Uh, so I'm going to put the polish on and a, I mean a pretty firm scrape one way and you see the corner that's what's bad about corners and then you're going to roll that stamper in the opposite direction to pick it up to get a really good image pretty much every time. Uh, and if you have problems with images that have blank spaces in them, this is really the best way to do that. And there is little Winnie the Pooh taken off in his balloon. And there's the little honey, the little honeycomb heart. It's so cute. All right, the rest of this, I'm pretty much just gonna pick it up and put it on here and show you on the little piece of tape here. You always want to clean your stamper on a lint roller of some kind, a piece of tape, masking tape, uh, whatever. Pull up tape, just tape. Uh, I wouldn't recommend duct tape though. These images all picked up really well. Uh, I never have any problems with maniology plates unless the images are really fine lined. And a few of these were, but with the sticky stamper, it really isn't a problem. This thing will pick up anything. It's a monster. And I really don't use it for anything but swatching. So keep that in mind. I know everybody wants them. And you can like pick up a bunch and make a decal on it. I just don't. 
I make decals directly on a clear stamper so I can see where I've missed and, you know, place it the way I want it. Oh, they're so cute. The silhouettes. Eeyore over there on the end. And I mean, classic Winnie the Pooh getting stuck in his den, having to be pulled out. And this one reminds me of like old school Winnie the Pooh, like early days before it was like the old stories of the old Pooh. And of course, all these are adorable. I love the lettering and I just think it's so cute. So I do really love these plates. And we're going to take a quick look at this topper. It is so pretty. And I do go ahead and put one coat on my nails. And it's so beautiful over the top of this. And you do kind of be mindful of placement, like with any topper that's really flaky. Uh, because you're going to have little sticky uppies. The stamping polish, mm, it is a beautiful polish, but to stamp with, I wasn't that big of a fan because it's not very opaque, and that's a problem with yellow. It's a yellow issue. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you what I did on my nails. I ended up redoing it, this one, because the brown wasn't showing up as well as I thought it would, but I used the brush that come with the box and I really do like this for a detail brush and a cleanup brush and I painted the little leaves and the stem that the hive is hanging from and then added some of the flakies to the beehive and painted my nail the yellow so that it would show up as yellow behind it I didn't want a lot of sparkle behind the words because I knew that you know that would be hard. I mean, you're not going to read them anyway, but i yeah, stick my little non-latex apron on. And I didn't like it, <laughs> so I redid it. <laughs> you're going to see that, and I'll show you my finished product. Finish product, finish manicure. Uh, it works fabulously as a cleanup brush too. All right. Oh, where's my flash? There's in black. You can make up the words better and the beehive looks better. It just all looked better with black. And I did a little Winnie the Pooh with Piglet. And again, that yellow over that green, it didn't like that was probably me. I didn't do a really great job, but, and I really love this topper, especially over this green. I think it would look beautiful over a lot of colors and it looks really pretty over this yellow. Okay. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining. And what's everybody think? I think they turned out really cute. All right, you guys, stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end, and uh, have a great week. Bye. Okay, what, what are we doing? Oh, my goodness. It's getting on a porch. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't put food coloring in that. Yeah, well, sand everywhere. Is there sand in there, too, or just a bunch of you just wasting all my baking soda and, yes. and vinegar? Uh-huh. It's going to be. Um, yeah, super cool. Gimme really wants to I told you. clean all that up.
Huh? It'll all fooze out. It'll all fooze out. Stand back. So it doesn't fizz on you. Ooh. That's crazy. Crazy. Running down there into the sand. Now let's put the dinosaurs. Smelling delicious, too. Are you making are you making pickles there? Some dinosaurs are fighting. Smells nothing like pickles. No, I said he does. We found out today he does not like pickles. Oh, you don't like? I, he used to like pickles, did he? No. Yeah. 